Where's my bait? It's gone. It's too big, huh? Woo! Yeah, it's too Kevin, big. Kevin, I think this one's gonna be just a little bit outside the slot. Well, but can you, you, is there any way you can just chop right there or something? No, or they don't let us do that, but you can tell these fish, if we catch the right ones, look how fat that fish is. Isn't that beautiful? That is. And look where that Niemeyer spoon is. That's a spoon buzzer. That's a junior. That's uh, a junior? Yeah, I'm not man enough to fish the normal size. You can't fish the senior? No, I can't fish the senior. <laughs> if that's what I catch on a junior, I may go to the baby pretty soon. Woo! <laughs> Come here, big girl. That one's bigger than the last one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a mistake. We talked a lot about not casting at the wrong fish, but mm -hmm. since today we're practicing, I saw that wake and just couldn't resist. It's hard to sometimes, isn't it? I'm a fisherman, Kevin. I like to catch fish. <laughs> yeah. And that is a nice fish. That Look is. at the size of that fish. Gah! It's got that spoon buzzer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a Niemeyer spoon buzzer, go get one. Hey, catch fish. You know, John Niemeyer makes probably the highest quality spoon uh, that I've ever thrown. And uh, he, he's incorporated a sound chamber into this spoon. And you know, the, the flash that you get from a spoon and the action you get from a spoon is all great. And if you add a sound chamber and you add noise to that, and I tell you what, it's a great combination. We have, uh, there's lots of different things you can do to, the, to his lures and make them uh, work in different ways. They have a weed guard, protect from weeds. Uh, the lure comes rigged with a skirt. Today, I'm having more success fishing this lure under the water as opposed to buzzing it on top. And so one of the things you do, you pull the skirt off and that allows, doesn't give it as much buoyancy mm -hmm. and allows the, uh, the spoon to sink some. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you if that, that theory works again. Red ripped it. Nice. Look at that. Woo! No. Bye. Hey, I hate to break this up, but there's another school of reds coming. There's two fish right there, a perfect example of fishing these things, Jim. We got two of them right in front of us. Exactly. We got. I'm gonna throw at them. Oh, look at them right there. Watch this. Bye bye. See, these giant fish. A lot of times because. Of the slot. Oh man, I gotta get a photo of this big guy. My partner has been making the sacrifice of staying in the back of the boat. It's so important to have a great partner in these tournaments. But now it's gonna be your turn to get up on the trolling motor and tackle these big reds. Well, what about me? I've been getting left out of this. Well, you've been up on the front all day, and well, uh, I've been I don't know what the problem's been for you. Maybe I, you know. Your casting accuracy, you might want to work on that. You, are you a golfer? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm well, not a golfer. Well, see, distance is key sometimes. That's what I've heard. You, you, you had too long a stick just then. You need to take a little shorter club. I've never been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to move in a little tighter, and I want you to catch a 26 and 7 8 inch redfish that has just eaten a couple of big, heavy mullet. Not a problem. I thought there would be one right there, and there is. This is. Uh oh. What is that, a drum? <laughs> Either that or Jack. At least I'm catching something in the front of the boat. <laughs> oh, no, a Jack. What you need would just. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. If you ever wanted to know if <laughs> Neymar Lures catch fish, they catch everything. No, that's Alabama. Oh, that's Florida. And, and Alabama. Yeah, I thought I had a good red here. I really did. I was actually feeling pretty good about myself for about three seconds, and then I saw this big old ugly Jack Crevel. I'll get him. Yeah. You just grab his tail. Right there on the seat.
That's a beautiful fish right there. Only I could catch a jack in the ponds off the Mississippi River in Venice. It's like three or four catchy, bro. Boom, gone. <laughs> some of that. How is that? It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Hey, baby, well, you can call play-by-play -play on these things and just know what's going to happen. <laughs> Oops. Fish and get looped, dude. Yeah, they are. Oops. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have a net. I think I have won the spot contest. Now they say if you put their hand under their belly like that, and do it like that, you can get them in. I think what they said was right. It is if you can get your hand there. How big is yours? 24. 24? And he is absolutely gorgeous. Then this redfish on Niemeyer spoons. This is... You were right, there's some smaller fish back here. Yep. What we need though is a happy medium. Yeah, that's We've right. We've gone from way too big to too small. This Niemeyer. fish just got Niemeyer. He just got Niemeyer. If you don't have one, you better go get one.